Hello everyone, my name is Lily and welcome back to another episode of Night in the Woods. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, the blackness and that one ghost guy. My god, last episode, super intense. Hello everybody. Hey May, thanks so much for your help last night. Woke up and realized that I completely imposed in a big way. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'll be at work cleaning up the last cleaning up after last night if you want to say hello. Of course, girl. Sorry, dude. Hey dude. Sorry I couldn't hang last night. Angus says he's sorry too. Yeah, I'm practice today because I'm in charge and I say so. Off to work. Bye. Oh man, band practice again. That's, that's going to be painful. Van practice is the worst. Uh, yes. Hmm. We're all looking a bit older, I guess. Weird to take, like, one moment and make it, like, the official version of us. Yeah, that seems like it's a long time ago as well. Uh, this? I wonder if the new working clock downstairs thinks this clock is scary. Big old thing upstairs, like... You know, like you, but different, huge, and spooky. Yeah, weird noises at night. Oh, no, I can't find this thing spooky. It's a piece of granddad. We need more of those. Uh, I was gonna say, looking at this picture, her parents look very happy, but May doesn't really look that happy at all, which is pretty sad. Oh, no, 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 oh. Birdie? You're just like the same every day. What is your bird existence like? <laughs> oh, do 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 we have any detective books out here? Oh, of course, of course we do. Uh, do we do do? No, do we have any books about ghosts? Like real life ghosts? Do we have any books for nut jobs, I guess? No, this is good. Research is good. Confront the problem head on. You're not losing it, dude. You are in fact keeping it very close. Yeah, I could totally see that after yesterday's incident. Hey, hun. Yeah? Come say hello, why don't ya? Well, it sounds like she's in a better mood, especially after the pretty bad confrontation we had yesterday. That was the worst. Hey, hun. Hey, mom. You look really tired. So do you. I also have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Great and twistly. I could go for that today. Hey, hun. Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. Me too. I said some stuff. I didn't really mean it. Well, whether you meant it or not, that isn't how we should communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. I just don't want it to be a repeat of a few years ago. I'm really sorry, Mom. About all of it. Hey, May, you okay? I'm fine. I guess I'm stressed too. Saw some weird stuff last night, or I think I did. Wanna talk about it? Later, I'm still like putting it together. Uh, can we talk about school? Also later. Ugh. So, what are you stressed about? Well, I guess you're a grown up now. Just spill it, mom. After your incident a few years back, as you know, we went into some debt smoothing that over. Jeez, I'm still sorry about that. It's in the past. Let's not go back over it. Okay. When it came time to get you off to school, we took advantage of a kind of mortgage to make sure you were taken care of. Okay. Well, turns out it wasn't a very good deal, and I just feel so stupid. They like to offer mortgages. They like to offer these mortgages to people who maybe don't have a lot of money and that aren't used to getting offers like this. Why? Because the bank took advantage of us, and now they own the house, and we owe them more than it's worth. What does that mean? It means we're not sure how long in the future we'll have the house. Holy crap, we're in trouble, huh? And I'm a huge jerk. It's okay, sweetie, don't worry. <sighs> how could you not worry about that, mom? What are you reading? It's a book of unsolvable murders. Did they all happen? Oh, I don't know. Maybe, sure. Wanna hear a real teaser? Uh, yeah. All right, there's a man lying dead in a kitchen with a bullet wound in his head. There's a man there with him. 
He's got some blood on his right hand, but no gun. Huh. Last thing, the dead guy has a scar on the back of his head. Do you know the answer? Well, I don't know if there's one answer. It's supposed to get you thinking. <laughs> About murder? Can't solve a murder without one. So, I have a question. Um... What else is in the room? Normal stuff, refrigerator, microwave, silverware, knives? No knife wounds, though. Oh, right. Okay, I think I got it. Wow, what you got? The guy in the room is a surgeon. He implanted a magnet in the dead guy's skull. That's why he has that scar. Then the suspect used a super magnet or something on the dead guy's forehead, which pulled the magnet out through the dude's head. <laughs> That's why he has blood on one hand. Yep, and I bet the murder weapons are stuck to the fridge. Holding up a pic of Aunt Dottie. Oh, bravo, sweetie. Thank you, thank you. We'd make quite a pair of investigators. Could open a detective agency in town. Could use one now, probably. Always work for crime solvers. All right, I'm gonna get going. Love you, daughter detective. You too, Inspector Mom. Oh my god. Oh, there's the person that's dead. I don't know how to unlock all of the drawings for the mom and dad. See, because there's still so much space, right? And I don't think that I filled it up last time. I don't know. I don't know. But I guess it's okay because we're not here for completionist sake. We're here for story because story is beautiful and we love stories. Um, What else could we do today? You know what, yeah, let's go jumping up. Wait, okay, I already passed it. I was like, let's go up on the wires again just to be safe. And I kind of forgot that we have to jump on the wires back here or something, right? Right? Here, here, here. We have to get up on the wires because of this tree. and uh, Or not because of the tree, but because of the tree's placement we can get up. Alright, let's keep going just to be safe. Oh, there's some- oh, he's up there! Oh my gosh, can we actually talk to him? Because now we know how to get up? Oh my gosh, we should actually try it. I'm curious to see what he has to say, because I've never been able to speak to him before, and I know that he invited us to come and take a look at the stars? I mean, but how much are you going to be able to see in this place, right? Oh my gosh, okay. We're good, we're good. It's a little difficult just blindly jumping. We made it! Mabarowski, you could have knocked on the door down there. Impolite to be on other people's roofs. Next time I'm gonna call the cops. Whatever. B uh, at any rate, I'm glad you've accepted my invitation. What are you doing anyway? Hunting dusk stars. What are dusk stars? <laughs> my shoe grades, man. What's dusk stars? Wandering stars, the light of which do not come through at night. How does that work? It's a trick of the atmosphere in setting sunlight. Only visible for a few weeks every year in the spring and fall. So lovely. Neato. Wanna have a look? Yeah. Excellent. Oh, they grab my eyes. Oh, you want to put the filter on like so. Jeez. The sun is bright, make you go blind. You didn't think to mention this? I just did. Oh, we can move, okay. I mean, this looks like a star right here, but I guess that's not what we're looking for. Oh. Does it wiggle the closer we get to something? I wanna say yes. Oh. Star located, Captain. Let's, let us consult the guide. Oh. Oh, you will like this one. We're looking at the constellations. Right? Really? Because they are dead. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm into it. Gra Gra Gramercy. The medium. In life, he spoke with the dead? Really? Who knows? But when he died, his own spirit returned and spoke through him. Wait, that's dumb. How so? <laughs> That's just called being alive. Not so his body was dead. So he was like a zombie. 
but just as smart as before. Not looking for brains. So like normal, but he smelled bad. Just so. Why did they make this guy into a star? I have no idea. I guess it's kind of impressive? Dumb, but impressive. So what's the moral of this one? Moral? Usually star things have usually star things like this have some sort of moral. Sometimes things are just strange. That's the moral? Me? <laughs> okay. This is actually really cool. I've never done this before. Let's see, let's see. Where else can we go looking for some more stars? I'm gonna wait for the little wiggly lines to show up. Oh, okay. So there is a border that we can't go too far past. Where is the next one? Oh! This one? No. This one? Yeah. Found one. Let's see. Big snake. Big snake? Yep. Uh, I saw a big snake once at the zoo. In scouts when we were hiking. And one was setting itself on a rock. What a treat. I think I was thinking, I was thinking it's rare to see a snake just randomly relaxing. What's up with this one? Big snake emerged from the earth and made war upon the villages. What villages? You know villages. Okay. As he wrapped himself around them, the villagers saw that they were encircled by the same big snake. And they came together and together they slew the big snake. You learn. Why did the big snake attack the people? Do you have sympathy for the big snake? Geez, I don't know, but can we just keep saying big snake? Big snake. Big snake. Big snake. <laughs> that is our pair for the day. Well, gee willikers, Mr. Chazalf, Ch Chazkov. <laughs> willikers. Ah, oh, does that mean that we missed some more? Wow, that was pretty great. Yes, it was. More in a couple days. Oh, snap. Oh, yeah. We probably missed the page across. Ugh, that's... Okay. See, it's it's things like this, guys. Like, I had no idea that I could jump up here and go and visit him, but it's okay. It's okay. We learn everything new every day. And, of course, this game could probably use a third playthrough. <laughs> but probably not on this channel. I still really like that I'm finding out new things because then it means that the next time you got more and more to see hello oh hey miss rosa oh hello may feeling better as well as i expected i suppose that's good did you want to talk about your grandfather yeah possum springs was built on our backs in the backs before us time was they didn't pay the people in real money Paid in little tokens and bills stamped with the company name. Good at the company store for company goods. Back in school they showed us some of those. Weird quarters and stuff. Your grandfather remembered. His daddy experienced it firsthand. Mine boss came into town driving a big fancy car and I met your grandfather. A real bastard that boss. God forgave him. Your father. Your grandfather. Not your father. Your grandfather runs out of the dance. I think he was a bit drunk or just stupid in some brave way. He shouts the guts of all the bosses and all of a sudden he has a hunting knife from somewhere and he slashes the boss's tires. <laughs> wow. Picks up a rock, puts it through the windshield, then he climbs up. I'm sorry, this part is a bit rude. Holy shit, don't stop. He pees through the windshield hole. This is amazing! Did they catch him? Nah, just me and a few other folks saw it. I trot over to him and we run off down the alley past the OK Drugstore. A OK Drugstore. Big field being parking lot nowadays. Stars fat and bright. I guess we were both pretty drunk. One thing led to another. Oh, OK. Wait, when was this? A very long time ago. Was he... 
So, what happened with the car? Got towed away. Police couldn't get no witnesses. We weren't snitches about that kind of thing. Damn right. So, like I said, you got big troublemaker blood. <laughs> Jeez, I never knew this. I don't think your daddy even knows. Bet not. You gonna tell him? Maybe we should. Last time we said no. Yes. Sometime. Maybe. I wanted to pass the story along to you. It was one night, one thing he did. In a lifetime of nights and things he did, what you want to do with that is part of your story now. Wow. I can't talk much more for today. I'd like to know more about him. This was crazy. I'll see you, May. Sooner or later. Okay. Bye, Miss Rosa. Bye for now, Mabrowski. Oh my god. I bet some rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. Every time I play this game and Miss Rosa has something to say, like, I'm always so enamored with her words and the uh, advice that she has. Friggin' love her. She's simply the best. We're almost there, we're almost there. Did it. This is unfairly easy now. <laughs> it kinda is, right? We've been doing this for three days now and the guy still has not noticed. Oh, is Rosa's gone now? She left, she saw us stealing and she was like, mm. Oh, the teens. Hey, kids. Hey, uh, kind of a weird question, but is anyone missing? What? Like anyone you know who was out last night and didn't come back? Eh, I don't think so. What's going on? Nothing, I thought I saw something. Okay, uh, you should tell us if this is something. Just be careful, okay? Keep an eye out and let me know if you see anything weird, okay? I mean, you all come, I mean, you all hang out together constantly. You're safer than anyone else I know. It's true, you guys. We saw some creepy shit go down. As long as the teens are okay, then. I guess that's fine. So I'm wondering if that kid came from a different town then? I, I don't know. It's I don't think it's ever explained who that kid was. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Alright, let's keep going with all of our usual stuff. Hello, hello. We'll go visit the church in a minute. Oh! I don't feel right about it. Uh, okay. Uh, I know, but sometimes the right thing doesn't feel right. I just think it's wrong to take something when folks don't want you to take it. Well, I feel like God would see this differently. I do, at least. Hmm. That's because you're a good person. She's having a hard time. Hey, hey. Hey again. Hey. So, I had this really bad dream last night. Me too. I dreamt I was a pizza. And I was afraid someone would slice me. Jeez. Yep. That just makes me sad we don't have a pizza place anymore. Gotta order it from out by the highway now. Tragic. I had a dream I was a goose flying south and I had to keep up with the other gooses or I'd get lost. That's sad. It weren't a good dream. What are y'all talking about? Big meeting coming up, city council. Yep. About... I'm a Bruce here. Wow, that's intense. We'd appreciate your prayers. This is precisely the kind of time where God shows up. Hope so. Me too. Ugh. Awful, awful. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the church and see if our mother is ready to receive us. Hello, mother dearest. Uh, I forgot this one. Okay. Hey, hey, church mom. Hey, heathen daughter. Oh, I'll make it in here someday. But come on, seriously, no one likes getting up on Sunday. I find it very enriching. Your father does too, mostly. But he attends and that's important and he knows it means a lot to me. All right, well, guilt, trip thor guilt thoroughly tripped. You do work for the church. That's not what faith is like, hun. There's more grace than condemnation. Kind of, whatever, all right, I'm out. See you later, sweetie. Mother is done. K. 
Can we do anything in any of these little roomages yet? No, we're good. Okay. Um, I guess since Pastor Kate was outside, we don't need to take a look in the uh, room over here. So we'll just keep going. Keep going. Uh, I guess that we can do some hopping up here. Oh, missed it. Completely missed it. Why am I, why am we not having this? There we go. Excuse me, birdie. Because we got to feed our little rat babies. They are very important. We've become a mother now and we have to, oh. Sorry, person. <laughs> Sorry, doggo. Here we go. Up here. Excuse me. Uh, this button? I, I keep forgetting which button does what. Don't know why I'm having such a hard time. Grab it. Nope. Oh, grab it. There we go. <laughs> I'm really struggling today. Let's go in. All right. I wonder how many rat babies we'll have today. Oh. No. Plastic flowers are like super depressing. For some reason, dead flowers are less depressing than plastic ones. Mm, yeah, I suppose. I suppose. I su maybe. I don't know. Alright, my little miracle rats. Time to eat. Is that four of them? One, two, three. Oh, there is more. Hello! There we go. Four. Well, wow, there's so many of you. Someday you won't need me anymore and you'll leave. Will I even, rec Will I even recognize you on the street as we pass each other? I love you, Miracle Rats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I love that she's taking care of these rats. So cute. But I do wonder what will happen at the end. Because I've never done this before. Okay, uh, do we want to keep going up just to see? I suppose you could never go wrong with just testing things out. Because, I mean, we're learning new things every day. There's so much to explore. Oh, look! What do you know? Did you go to Harfest? Yeah. And it happened to play because my friend B screwed it up. Cool. I ate pizza and watched Blood Gorgon. Um, cool. Something wrong? Nah, just... I think I saw a ghost or something last night. Ugh, I'm not sure. That sounds kind of awesome. It was like the opposite of awesome. Oh, sorry. It's cool. I'll see you later. Good luck with your ghost problem. Thanks. You see someone... You see someone messed up the mural in the tunnel? <laughs> yeah, pretty funny. I mean, very weird and bad. Any idea who did it? Nope. Lots of suspects, though. Yeah, a whole town full of suspects. Eh, death. Don't think about death, little guy. Oh my gosh. I don't I don't think we can get up any higher than this. I'm pretty sure that this is the extent. I guess we'll drop down. Anybody here? Anybody here? Uh, old pickaxe and the statue. Okay. Or some bullshit. You hear me, statue? I guess you were drafted. Ugh. You died before you got to enjoy the statue they made of you. It's garbage. They can't make me go to war. I'll go underground. I'll join some sort of group that again that's against war and stuff. I'll blow up war stuff and sabotage other war stuff. I'll live in the shadows for decades. No address. Always on the run. Living in a trailer in the desert. It'll be awesome. Me, you're saying that now. But when push comes to shove, that sounds very chaotic. Hey, girl. Hey, B. Hey, uh, thanks again for last night. I owe you one. It's fine, it was fun. My night got like really weird and bad afterward. How so? I'll tell you later, I guess. Still like putting it together. Okay, well, let me know how that goes. I will. Think it's burn practice day? Yeah, I'm gonna go hunt down Greg. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, no, he's not the Snack Falcon. I don't know how that guy stays employed. He steals constantly, breaks supplies for fun, and leaves work whenever he wants. Greg plays by his own rules. He looks more like the world plays by his rules. Whoa. I don't even know what that means. Still, whoa. 
Okay, bye, baby. See you later. Okay, I suppose before we talk to our boy, we could run all the way down to the edge of town, make sure that there's nothing that we're missing. Because that's kind of important. It does kind of suck to find out that... Oh, whoa. Someone moving in? Probably something dumb. I miss you, pizza place. Uh, it does kind of suck to realize that there's more that I missed, even though I'm trying to be so thorough, but it is what it is. You for band practice in a bit? I guess. Weird night. How so? I'll tell you about it later. Uh, okay, I guess that's it. <laughs> Such a simple visit. Okay. No, I want to go fast, car. Can I ride on top of the hood? That would be so nice. And I want to have to keep running all the way downtown. It's wet again. And I'm cold again. It's just rain. Hey, uh, why are we still standing out here? Someone has to. I suppose? Doesn't need to be you guys, though. Someone else could do it eventually. Okay. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh! Hey, dude. Hey, you. Working here now? Yep, sucks. But it pays. Question, how do they fit a kitchen in there? Barely. Uh, what do you do here? Grillman and janitor. I cook and mop. At the same time? Yes. Why did you leave B? She's so good. That's so mean. She's gotta handle that whole place now all by herself, that poor girl. Alright, alright. Oh, germ! Oh, police. Why police? Oh. What are you doing? What were you doing out here last night? Uh, we did this one, so let's try this one. What were what were you doing out here last night? Vagrants reports of that's why all this must have just been someone you someone saw you out here. Your turn. I saw a kidnapping. Tell me what you saw again. Someone in a big coat with someone on their back. Uh huh. And you chased them down here. Yeah, and I got to the fence and they were up in the woods. All right, thank you, May. Ugh, I knew you were just gonna brush this off. May, there's been no missing persons reports. That tends to happen when a kid goes missing from something like Harfest. Well, I got six calls about kids out too late. There would be a report. I'm reporting this. This right here. This is a report. May, there's no break in the fence. So? Unless someone could jump this thing while carrying a teenager who hasn't been reported as missing. Any theories, May? Ah, <sighs> no. I was running around the half of the night, getting after teenage bullshit and people scared of clothesline and noises. I, you, you, ah, it sucks that she's the only cop too. Are you trying to get a kick out of, off a horror movie? Are you trying to? Kick off a horror movie. There we go. No one believes that girl who saw the ghost. Well, I have bad news for you. The cop always dies. I'm sorry, we're talking about a ghost now? It must have gone through the fence? Really, May? No, yes. I don't know. I'm really tired. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Will you at least check the woods? May, me and Dan McConnell were up there this morning because of what you said last night. From the fencing up to the old mine, we found a couple of teenagers on a gross mattress. We saw some worried looking deer and one deer hunted out too early. One deer hunter out too early. That can't be it. That is it. A cop always dies. Oh my God. Okay, well, let's talk to Germ and see what he says. Hey, my dude. Hey. Sup, kid? Sniff, sniff. You smell weird. You go to Harfest? Nah, over it. Cool, I had kind of a weird time. Weird bad time, actually. It's a guaranteed weird bad time. Yeah. Are those people from yesterday still here? Don't know. We're not, like, good friends or anything. Oh yeah, I don't know why I thought you'd know. 
I was wondering if they met Casey. Out there somewhere. I can ask. I used to ask. I'm just say like, thinking about him out there all by himself. Now Casey's tough. He'll be fine. When you gotta get out, you gotta get out. Yeah, I guess. Well, see you at band practice. Real talk. Do you actually like watching us play? Yeah, I mean, you're not good, but yeah. Not my style. What is your style? Black metal, uh, trash? Th thrash crossover hip-hop, my gosh. I like Witch Dagger, they're kind of metal. Oh yeah, like that dupe shit, right? da da dragger Totally. What? You know, one time a guy followed me home. Like a guy from the tracks. What did you do? It was like some night back in the summer, and out of the corner of my eye I could kind of see this dude take this turn out of the parking lot and start creeping up the hill, like 50 feet back. But like, I didn't want to look right at him. Ah! I took a detour through the woods and sat in a tree. It was getting dark, but like, I could see him standing out just off the road, waiting for me to come down. Holy shit, what did you do? After it got dark, I climbed down and got up the hill real quick. Ugh. Yeah, it was like a weird bad time. Ugh. I'm so upset right now. <laughs> I know, right? See ya. That's awful. Awful, awful things are happening. Real awful things. Okay. I guess that we are done. We gotta go hit up Greg. And uh, get our band practice on. I haven't improved, I haven't practiced, so it's gonna be just as bad as it's always been. Here we go. Hello, hello, Gregory, my dear boy. What's up, dude? Ugh. Huh? Long night, weird night. What's up? I'll tell you a band practice. Cool. What you up to? <sighs> We're gonna head out to band practice. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, it's gonna be so bad. Back to watch this fiasco again, huh? Yep. You're our only fan, Jarm. I'm just here to be entertained. I'm a gentleman of leisure. Nice. <laughs> gentleman of leisure. Hello. Hey, dude. You okay? You look tired. Ugh, I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door, and it was super loud. Oh, the roof door. Okay, very good, very good. We'll have to check that out. Roof door? Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs that goes out onto the roof. Now I can, like, I don't know, run from that door down the lobby up to the roof and pee off the side of the building. Yeah, maybe not. But what's to stop random people from doing that? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just tired. Fair, ready to go? Yeah, let's do this shit. Oh my god, it's gonna be bad. Oh my god, it's gonna be bad. Oh my god, it's awful! Oh, it's awful. I'm so sorry, guys. That beginning part is really tough. Oh my god, uh, why? It's awful. How? Oh, this is awful. This is- I'm not hitting any one of these. I- okay. Awful. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, it's awful. <laughs> Please let that be the end. Oh my god, that was absolutely dreadful. Wow, May, that was uh it was the worst. Pretty bad is what it was. I literally do not know this song. Phew. So fast. You just pushed a button. I'm so tired. I strained my vocal cords yelling. Awesome. I'm gonna sound so husky. And anyway, I don't even know if they're dreams or not. And this guy who I think was a ghost kidnapped some kid and also I think was in my head after while I was sleeping. And anyway, yeah, I think I need to do something because this is scary. Well, that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight. Are you okay, dude? Are we okay? No, I'm kind of freaked out. It probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, I'm probably not. Yeah, definitely. Ugh. Okay, fine. I'll go figure this thing out myself. Aw, oh, dude, don't be like that. You got us. Aw, oh, dudes. Okay, fine. Okay, we need to maybe see if there's, like, some ghostly stuff happening around here. Like, from a source we can trust. Such as? Does the newspaper have, like, a ghost section? What? Why is that a dumb question? You know, we could check out the library. For books about it? No, they have the local paper on file. Going back a century, if there's some secret history of kidnapper ghosts, we'll find it there probably. Oh wow, I didn't know they had that. I thought it was just like a broken down old bunch of books. When's the last time you were at the library? When was the last time you were at the library? We actually have one of the nicer ones around. Oh, how? Rich dude who paid for way back when? Yeah, they set up a foundation and... Never mind, let's go. Can we regroup after? Uh, sure. Okay, we'll be back. Woohoo, ghosties! That's the spirit. The library. Look, jobs. Weird, like... When this was painted, it was like, hey, look out the window. We're all working. Things are great. Now it's like one of the graffiti murals. After someone gets shot or hit by a car. This mural is really affecting you. I forget that we live in separate realities. Mine's clearly better. <laughs> all right, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and call this episode here for today. If you liked it, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, go ahead and throw those down below. And if you want to continue this journey with me, please go ahead and hit subscribe so you get a notification on when the next one comes out. But until then, I'll see you all later. Bye.